What's going on YouTube? Tony Seminat here, AKA Real World Tactical. And I got this pretty badass barricade in front of me. It's actually the Triangle Systems Shooting Barricade that I'll be testing and doing some evaluation on today's range day. As you can see here, they have a nice cool brick pattern to go with it. Um, it took me and two other guys around five to seven minutes to build. So it's not, doesn't take a long time to build. And what I really like about this barricade is the fact that it's really, really light. Okay, it's super light, so you can pretty much transport it wherever you want. Okay, lift it up, move it. Compared to some of the other barricades that I have that are wood and metal, um, those are pretty heavy. So sometimes you need two guys to carry it. And at the end of the day, when you're moving barricades and changing positions and stuff, it's really good to have a, a something light that doesn't, um, doesn't weigh a lot. So that way you're not exerting so much energy, right? In the hot sun after being out here for six or seven hours. So that's one of the big things I like about it so far. Um, and the truth is, is it's pretty cool. Um, this is, I guess, modeled after the VTAC uh, barricade. And they have different points here where you can shoot through and um, get into different positions with. So it's pretty neat. I'm gonna test it out today and use it a little bit and, and uh, see how it goes. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna do a few drills uh, using the Triangle Systems shooting barricade. Uh, so you see the size of it. Um, I'm gonna go into different positions as well. Um, so you have at least an idea of the depth of what it is, because you can see it's, it's probably about a good eight, eight inches to 10 inches uh, deep, right? Um, what I like about it is, even if you're standing, you still have cover here, okay? So you can be standing, you go down to the kneeling position, you can shoot from the kneeling here, um, and then you have all these different holes that you could get into different positions here and shoot like that. I like it, uh, it's big enough for any size person to get behind it, which is a big, big thing. Uh, I like the fact that it has options, meaning that you can shoot from right side or left side, or in the center like a VTAC, which is really good. A lot of positions, you can do a ton of positions here, a ton of position work, which is really good. And the fact that it's very uh, light is really good. Now, the only issue that you're gonna come across is if you go from range to range, and this is a personal thing, you're gonna have to break it down and put it back together every single time. It doesn't take that much time. It takes about five to five to ten minutes. Once you get better at it, I'm sure it's a lot. It's a lot easier. Okay, uh, but it, it's not bad at all. I like it. I like it a lot, and and I I I recommend it. I, I would I'll tell you like this. I rather have this. Looks with the bricks, and it, it's nicer, and it it's easier to move than to have wood and metal like what I already have and what most people already have, or you know like a barrel or that, that regular stuff. This is a lot nicer. You have a lot more options with this, so. Definitely give a, a, you know, five stars, two thumbs up on this. It's, it's awesome. Now that we've covered pretty much uh, all of the barricade stuff, different position shooting, I had a couple of my, my friends here to demonstrate as well. Uh, they're new shooters, beginner shooters. So I like to, to bring new people to shoot and get into shooting guns and all that. Uh, if you have any comments on this particular barricade, the link is gonna be in the description. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. And on to the next one.